Welcome to the famous artist painting unit. There are many different painting techniques and strategies. In this unit, you will learn four basic painting techniques. They are move from the background to the foreground, move from light to dark, move from the general to the specific, and let the size of the area you are painting dictate the size of the brush that you use. I chose the painting of Kees van Dongen's The Parisian because it's a great example that shows how to use the four basic strategies we are talking about. Some instances, moving from background to foreground and light to dark are one and the same. In other instances, they battle each other and we're going to have to make a choice. Whatever the case, we'll move from the general to the specific and let the size of the area we're painting dictate the size of the brush we use. If I were to strictly follow the rule of moving from the background to the foreground, then I would start with the black sky in the back. and then I would move to the brushes and shrubs. Followed by the trees, and then the ground, and then the dark figures in the foreground. If I were to strictly follow the rule of moving from light to dark, I would start with the lightest areas first, in this case, which are white, and are the hat, the hands, and the feet. I would follow with the medium tones, which in this case is the ground, and some of the shrub area. I would follow by doing the trees, and then the darker areas of the shrubs. Finally, I would paint the darkest areas, which are the black, and the sky, the hat, the dress, and the subjects. Obviously, I can't strictly adhere to both rules at the same time. So let's watch as I paint the painting and see the choices I make along the way. By painting the ground first, I'm able to follow the rules of moving background to foreground, light to dark, and general to specific. This area is the largest area. It's very light, and it is behind the subjects that are in the foreground. It's a good choice for us to begin our painting. When I finished the background, I had to make a choice. I could have either moved from light to dark or background to foreground. Uh, as you see, I've made it the choice to move from light to dark. So here I'm going to start by painting the lightest areas of the painting, which are the white areas, uh, the hat, the feet, the hands. Uh, next I'm moving on to the trees, and then I'm going to finish off the painting by doing the darkest areas. Uh, and in that, within those dark areas, I'm going to move from background to foreground. So I'm going to do the furthest area back, which is the sky, and then I'm going to move on to the subject. Uh, in these areas, it's going to be the hat and the dress and what have you. Here you see me moving uh, and adding some color. It's because I had to adjust the color. Once the colors of the background dried, I noticed that they had uh, become a little too different than the example I was working from, so I wanted to change that. Sometimes this happens and you have to go with the flow. I'll finish off by painting the darker subjects in the foreground uh, and moving on to the detail. You notice how I did the shoes, I do the smaller uh, subject uh, at the end as the dog, and then I add little details such as the um, tongue and the eyes, and then added my signature. Keep in mind there are many rules when it comes to painting, and we cover just four of those basic rules. When doing your painting, you're going to be confronted with different choices than I was in this one. So take the basic rules, apply them, and do the best job that you possibly can. Have fun!